Trent Marin is as pumped as anyone about James Maloney's Penrith signing but before he lets the star 5-8 get too comfortable he's going to ask him for a please explain. Speaking exclusively to FoxSports.com. On the day Maloney's signing was confirmed, Marin said, tongue planted firmly in cheek, he felt snubbed by the veteran playmaker's decision to move to the Panthers without asking his former Origin and Kangaroos teammate about the joint first. He didn't call me, Marin said. I'm going to get into him about it too when I see him too. I might have expected a phone call. The other big playmaker move of the past few weeks followed stories of text messages and phone calls between Mitchell Pierce and all manner of players from different clubs before he opted for a fresh start at Newcastle. But Marin explained it wasn't unusual for new Panthers recruits to trust their instincts and make a move without as much due diligence these days because they can see the club making big strides from afar. To be honest I don't think too many players would need to do that anymore, Marin said. I think in the past you would have been on the phone and you talked to a few players you knew at the club but the way this club is moving forward it's breeding a lot of confidence in players to just have belief in what's going on out here. Yeah. The recruitment that we're getting out here, it's so good to see that these players just continue to come out here, like myself too, to move out here to the West. I never thought I'd do so but it's been the best thing in my career and like I said, I don't think you'll see too many players needing to do that anymore. I think they've just got full belief in where this club's heading. Marin made the move to the foot of the mountains after the 2015 season, having made his name with over 100 games and a premiership at St. George Illawarra where he came through as a local junior. Since his arrival Penrith's two campaigns have ended in the second week of the finals, with the 2017 outcome a disappointment to some critics who felt the Panthers had the roster to compete for a premiership. Marin says that perception was a bit tough on the young group and doesn't think Maloney's addition should add to the pressure on the club to win its first title since 2003. There's no pressure at all, Marin said. We copped it all last year. Everyone built us up to be this team and we copped a lot of it last year but we're not focusing on anything like that. We've got full belief in what we're capable of doing and our potential as a squad and that's our main focus, it's just about putting the things in place to get the job done. Maloney just adds to that too, so we're definitely in a comfortable position. Maloney arrives at the Panthers as part of a blockbuster multi-million dollar swap deal that sent disgruntled skipper Matt Moyle into the Sharks. While Moylan's departure is a blow and Maloney's arrival potentially gives the Panthers' spine a shorter shelf life, Marin said the playmaker's experience, which includes two premierships and a handful of NSW and Kangaroos jerseys, would put the side in better shape to succeed. Marin sees Maloney's influence on rising star Nathan Cleary as a big bonus. Nathan Cleary's growing as a player on and off the field but having Jimmy there is definitely going to help him settle into first grade a lot better and grow as the player that he is, Marin said.
Jimmy will take the pressure off him to control the game a bit and just leave it to Nath to do what he does best. So it's definitely going to be a big X factor for us, especially for players like Nathan. Yeah. He's won a few grand finals, he's played for his state, he's played for Australia, he's done it all. He's in a key position too and those blokes like Dylan Edwards, Tyron May and Nathan are going to thrive off having him in the team, just learning from him, listening to him, and he'll pave the way forward for the Panthers.